<laughs> I am out in it and I've got news for you. Wave two just popped out here. You can see the uh, pavement out here on my, on my neighborhood street starting to turn white again. Now it is interesting about that moisture because the air that we're feeling right now is actually coming from the northern reaches of our planet up there where the North Pole is and it's very dry up there and this air did not encounter go over any oceans on its way through Canada. So we're actually going to get very little moisture out of this storm here in Colorado, but since it's in the form that moisture in light fluffy snow, it kind of looks like a lot and there's some interesting snow science behind that and it's called the snow to liquid ratio and it basically tells you how much snow you can get out of precipitation at different temperatures. Meteorologists measured the air moving down from Canada on Thursday and found that there's roughly two tenths of an inch of possible precipitation in the storm. The way that precipitation looks on the ground can vary greatly depending on the temperature in the clouds. If it was warm, all the precipitation would fall as rain and we would get two tenths of an inch of rain on the ground. That's just about enough to get the sidewalks wet. When the air is cold, we get snow on the ground, but the amount of precipitation is still two tenths of an inch because the precipitation is the water in the snow. So in Denver, the temperature of an average winter storm will create snow at about a 15 to one ratio, meaning one inch of precipitation equals 15 inches of snow. So that two tenths of an inch available from Thursday's storm would equal three inches of snow. But the storm is much colder than average, likely creating at least a 25 to one snow to water ratio, which would make five inches of snow with this storm three different outcomes with the same amount of precipitation. So some interesting mathematics there for you. Hope you've followed along with me, but basically it, it all kind of depends on the initial forecast of how much moisture is in that air, because if that's off, all of that calculation is off as well. And as well as the duration of the storm, if we don't get that right, then all that math uh, equals a little bit of a miss when it comes to especially snowfall. And here in the North Arvada Weather Bureau, we're actually forecast to get a little bit more moisture than that uh, two tenths of an inch. So I'm hoping to easily get five inches of snow here in the my front yard, which I call the uh, Nine News North Arvada Weather Bureau guys. <laughs> yeah, you easily get five inches, then you have to easily move five inches yeah, out of okay. your driveway. That's that's another story. Yeah, but you say calculation. Good thing it's light and fluffy though. Yeah, calculation and duration. That's the key. So Kim will do the calculation. I'll do the, the duration part. No, so. no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's switch that. Okay, we'll leave it to Corey. Thank you, Corey. Corey does it all. <laughs> all right.